The current constitution of Germany, which came into effect on the 23rd of May 1949, forbids capital punishment. If the German constitution enacted by the Frankfurt Parliament in 1849 had come into force, capital punishment would have been abolished in most cases, since art. Under military law, in case of a war only, some other particularly listed forms of treason, some cases of wrongful surrender, desertion in the field in case of relapse, if the previous desertion also had taken place in the field, cowardice if it led to a flight with enticing one's comrades to flight, explicit disobeying an order by word or deed in the face of the enemy, sedition in the face of the enemy, or in the field if done as a ringleader or instigator, or with violence as a leading man. During the German Empire, the legal methods were the hand-held axe, in some states also the guillotine for civilian crimes, and the firing squad for military crimes. As to the National Socialists, the leading Nazi jurist Hans Frank boasted at the 1934 Reichspartitag of reckless implementation of the death penalty as a special acquisition of the Nazi regime. Under Hitler nearly 40,000 death sentences were handed down, mainly by the Volksgerichtshof and also by the Reich Military Tribunal. Executions were carried out most often by beheading using the guillotine, which in 1936 was ordained the official means of civil execution of capital punishment. From 1942 hanging by using the short drop method was also used, notoriously in the reprisals in the aftermath of the 20th of July plot. A firing squad was reserved for military offenders. The definition of murder was changed and, in practice, extended to the rather vague definition still in force, but now only with life imprisonment. Among the crimes subject to mandatory. After World War II, limited executions of common and war criminals were carried out on West German soil. The last common criminal to be executed in the Western zones under German authority was Richard Schu on February 18, 1949. In West Berlin the last execution was of Berthold Wemeyer on May 12, 1949. Despite the newly founded Federal Republic's protests, the Western Allied powers continued for some time to inflict the death penalty in their separate jurisdiction. The last war criminals being executed on June 7, 1951 at Landsberg Prison. Until 1990, some criminal actions against the Allied occupating powers' interests remained capital in West Berlin, being under Allied jurisdiction without complete force of the basic law. However, no capital sentences under this authority were carried out. The last person to be officially executed in both East Germany and reunified Germany was Werner Tesk. Werner Tesk, was born on the 24th of April 1942 in Berlin and went to school from 1948 to 1960, graduating with the Abitur. In this time, he also played handball for an East German junior team. He studied economics at Humboldt University of Berlin from 1960 to 1964 and graduated with a degree in financial economics. A staunch communist, he entered the SED party in 1966 and became an unofficial collaborator of the Stasi in 1967. In 1969, he obtained his doctorate in economics and started working full-time for the Hauptverwaltungsaufklärung, the foreign intelligence arm of the Stasi. Tesk was part of the East German delegation that accompanied the East Germany national football team to the 1974 FIFA World Cup, 
played in West Germany. He was promoted to Hauptmann in 1975, and sent abroad again to the 1976 Olympics. In the mid-1970s, Tesk began to considerably doubt the political system in East Germany, and planned for a defection to West Germany using highly sensitive Stasi information and materials as an entrance fee. However, in 1979 the Stasi tightened its internal security measures after the defection of Werner Stiller, a Stasi Oberleutnant, to West Germany with sensitive information. In September 1980, Tesk was arrested when irregularities in his work came to attention of the Stasi, and a cache of stolen documents was found in his work safe. Later, Tesk was found to be embezzling operating money from his Stasi division, and another cache of documents was found stashed inside his apartment. Tesk was tried at the 1st Military Criminal Division of the Supreme Court of East Germany, accused of planned treason, and was found guilty of charges of espionage, desertion, and an illegal border crossing. Despite the defense counsel's argument that the defection had never occurred and no information had reached the West, Tesk received the maximum sentence and was sentenced to death after a one-day trial. On the 11th of June 1981, the severity of Tesk's sentence might have been a reaction to Werner Stiller's defection to the West two years earlier. On the 26th of June 1981, shortly after his trial, Tesk was executed in the basement of Leipzig prison on Alfred Kastner Strace, Leipzig, by executioner Hermann Lorenz. Tesk was shot in the back of the head using a semi-automatic pistol, after which his body was cremated and buried at the site Friedhof. Tesk's trial, execution, and funeral all were kept secret by the East German authorities and this information was withheld even from Tesk's closest relatives, including his wife, who did not know she was a widow until after German reunification in 1990. Until then, she had assumed her husband was being held somewhere in custody. After German reunification, the sentence against Tesk was overturned in 1993. In 1998, one of the judges and one of the prosecutors who had taken part in Tesk's trial were sentenced for perverting the course of justice in 1998. These new rulings were justified by the fact that the original decision had been disproportionate even according to East German law. Since Tesk had planned but never actually committed the offenses he was sentenced for, Tesk was the last person to be executed in East Germany before the death penalty was abolished in 1987, effectively becoming the last person to be executed in Germany. Thank you for watching Death Row.